Good morning, modern status. Curious to see how much snow we got last night. Looks like Figaro's been out running around. It's hard saying. A couple inches, maybe? Looks like it's been blowing around a bit. Because there's not any snow left on the truck. There's a bare spot there. Come on in, Figaro. Come on in. The temperatures warmed up overnight last night. It was 15 degrees out when we went to bed, and right now it's 30 degrees out. I like that. Ooh, it's slippery with the snow on top of this ice. See, Figaro had already made his way down to the goat barn. You're silly. He was slipping in a slide in. Doesn't seem like there's too much snow right here. They were calling for 10 plus inches, so it looks like we didn't get what they were calling for. I didn't bring my tripod out today. Good morning, girls. What happened there? The wind, oh my, that's funny. See the snow right there? Ah, let's get the girls fed and Come on. There you go. Ah, one straight line of snow. So the way roofs are built is you leave a space on the peak and then you put a ridge cap so your roof can vent. My guess is the snow is blowing in one direction and blew up and the snow is falling right straight down. Ah, good morning, Buttercup. Yes, good morning. Good morning there, Blossom. Good morning, Willow. Do we have snow in here too? Yep, it was pretty windy last night. Look at that, their food dish is all the way filled up with snow. Look at that. Don't even want to come out. <sighs> Give me some fresh warm water this morning. Get rid of this cold slushy stuff. Not sure if the camera will pick it up, but right there, there and there, that's all snow that got blown in. Oh. Curious if it's this side of the roof it blew up and in on, or if it's the other side. Let's check. Not sure, both sides. This side has a little bit more snow left up on it, so I'm gonna say, you girls have got your feed, yeah. I'm gonna say the snow is blowing this direction, up and in. Oh, that's too funny. I'm glad we didn't get any more snow than what we did. After we feed the chickens in New York City, we're gonna have to plow the road out so Gina can get to work and the school bus can get to school safely. School's got a two hour delay this morning, so we got an extra few minutes. See some chickens in the window. I don't think they'll be coming out today. Get the water filling up for them. What do we got? We got one egg. All right, I'll leave it in there. I don't want to put the coat in my egg pocket. I'll probably forget about it and then we'll plow and we'll have a broken egg in our pocket in the truck. <laughs> that wouldn't make for a good situation. All right, hopefully the snow melts soon. What are you two doing? You got cabin fever, Pluto. You coming back in, Figaro? You staying up in the tree? Pluto, up to the house. 
Plodo, go to the house. You coming? Come on. All right, let's get this road opened up. We actually got a lot less snow than what they were calling for, which is awesome. Now that I'm plowing the road, I can see there's only a couple of inches. But the worst part is everything's frozen, the snow banks and everything, so we can't really push too hard because it hurts and nothing's gonna move anyways. So we gotta be kind of gentle today. I'm trying to back up down the road while we're while we're filming. It's a private road, so we can do it. <laughs> Now we can go in and have some breakfast. <laughs> and then we'll come back out and finish plowing. Ah, breakfast burrito. Still warm. Perfect. Sausage and eggs from the homestead. Mm-hmm. A quick breakfast break and now we'll get everything cleaned up. 30 degrees out guys it's feeling really nice I know I keep saying that but when it gets close to above freezing it feels good it's been a long cold winter Hard. There's so much more I want to plow, but everything is covered in ice. I'm scared, guys. I don't want to get stuck or run into a building or slide around.
we got out, but. Anywhere that I've driven where there's not sand, it's pretty slick. I don't know if my tire tracks are gonna show it. When I drove up here by like the goat barn, I slid probably a good six inches to a foot. Here, here's the back tires. The front ones were the worst. I just drove up here and then the truck went whoop. See, that's crazy. <sighs> My heart about sunk. I'm like, is it gonna stop? Cause if not, <sighs> so we're not plowing to the goat barn today. If we need to plow that out, we'll have to do that with the Kubota. The Kubota has tire chains. The truck doesn't, but the truck's got studded snow tires, so you know it's really slick if we're having issues with studded snow tires already. I still can't get over how slippery that was. I came up here, and then it just went whoo, and then I backed up and left. Holy moly, guys. <sighs> Look at it. It might be slippery, be careful. <laughs> the roosters are learning how to crow. Is that good snow, Tanner? He was just licking it. Well, he's gonna follow you. He wants to hog tie you, Livies. He wants to hog tie you. I can't get out now. You like in the snow, Mr. Tanner? What are you doing? Have a good day at school. Love you. See you this afternoon. Oh, is she leaving you? She left you. You look so sad. Are you sad? Let's go in the house. You want to warm up? Come on. Let's go. We got the MDR1 test results back for Tanner. He's a miniature Australian Shepherd. And I guess all herding dogs, they can have this gene mutation called MDR1. And what it does is it affects the kind of medications they can take, like wormers and different things. If they have the gene mutation, there's some kinds of medicines they can't take. We got the test results back, and he doesn't have the gene mutation. <laughs> awesome. So we were glad we got the test. When I got the email and I went to open it, I was like, oh, I'm kind of nervous. Clicked on it and it's good to go. It's not the end of the world if they have it. You just gotta be more cautious on what medications you give them for dewormers. You ready to go out, Pluto? We gotta go get the goats some new fresh bedding. They got snow all over theirs. Come on, let's go. We gotta go to the outdoor kitchen first. Stay out of the kitchen, mister. I'll end up shutting you up in there. We might as well have fun and ride the sled down the hill. Uh oh. Ah! Roll over. Roll over. Ah. Goats are like, what's going on? Thought you'd like some fresh bedding. Better watch out. 
It's loose now. <laughs> you girls are a hoot. You're a hoot. I want to cover up all that snow that came in last night. You helping? girls are having too much fun with that. <laughs> Willow's like, I gotta get in on this. Uh, you're gonna fall off. Oh, uh, eat. I'll put one more down. Uh, is that all we need is to give you a bale of straw to keep you content? Huh, is that it? That's fun, huh? Yeah. Oh. Guess what I brought out for you. Whoops. Get back up. Come on. Some good treats, huh? You want one? Down. Down. Pluto saying, don't give them all my treats. That's it, that's all she wrote. Pluto, you want a treat? Come here. Sit, good girl. One more. Good girl. Well, I feel better now that the goats have some fresh bedding in the barn. I've heard of snow coming up the ridge cap before on tin roofs. I've never seen it though. <sighs> I guess you never know what to expect. They got some fresh hay. They're in goat heaven right now. So. I'm trying to figure out what to cook tonight for dinner. I got a few ideas in my head about some soups. So, I'm gonna go in the house and figure that out. Let's go. Since it's cold and snowy out, let's make a lentil soup for dinner. We were sent up some lentils. I'm gonna put the Instant Pot on saute mode. Put a little bit of avocado oil in. What are you doing, Tan Man? Grab a knife. Gonna dice up a medium onion. I was just thinking how once the nicer weather comes, our eating habits will change. We'll be spending more time outside. And we're not gonna be wanting all these hot and heavy meals. So we might as well enjoy them while the cold weather's still here. Mince in some garlic. And Miss Olivia's over here knitting on her fingers, having lots of fun. You making a scarf? I don't know. You don't know what it's gonna be? Add in a 
gonna add in two pinches of oregano. That will make it great. I'm gonna put in a pound of green lentils. Oh, cut hair, not rip hair. up a couple of chickens the other day. We got the leftover chicken bits in there and then we saved the carcasses and we made some bone broth. Put the lid on. We're gonna put it on soup mode. Soup mode we're gonna cook for half an hour. Oh, that looks so delicious. Let's steam the lens right up. Sometimes when I'm trying to figure out what to title our videos, I have a hard time. I try to make a list of title ideas and there's always a lot of things that are going on in the videos. I just never know what to focus on. Like this video, I was laughing at myself during it, during editing. There I go again. But I said I gotta put my coat in my egg pocket. Oh guys, I got all tongue twisted there and I didn't even realize it. But that gave me a good chuckle. But I don't know. I don't know as of right now what I'm going to title the video, but I mean, when I was plowing and I was driving the truck and it slid a, almost a good foot towards that tent, man, my heart, oh, my stomach was up in my throat. I was like, oh no, not again. <sighs> and then the snow in the goat barn. Guys, it's just been crazy up here. I've heard of snow being blown up at tin roof before, but I've never seen it. I mean, everything we've been going through and dealing with this winter has been some crazy strong obstacles. Oh, but it's been fun. Keeps us on our toes. Well, I hope you guys are having a great winter. Spring is around the corner. The birds are chirping. And man, that just puts a huge smile on my face hearing those birds. So we were talking in a video the other day about trying to come up with different things to say in the videos towards the end. And I'll tell you what, I've been thinking about it in... The two things that have been resonating with me is we were created to do more and don't settle. What does that, when you say that to yourself, does that spark anything? I don't know. I'm just trying to see how that resonates with all of y'all. It resonates with me, but I don't know if it will resonate with anybody else. Well, thanks for coming along on our crazy journey. I know the ending of the video here, me rambling on, has gotten a little long, but thanks for being here. You guys who are listening to this part of the video, you are the true modern steaders who stick it out thin and thin. So thank you. You are a true blessing to our family, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.